Hello and welcome back. So the next feature I think I want to add to this little app is uh, a convenience one. When we go to edit the filters we have this big blank screen uh, and if you know what you're doing obviously you click on the next button which is add filter but I would like to actually see a message here that says hey dummy click on the plus button <laughs> or something to that effect so let's go ahead and do that so we want our table view to do something slightly different when there are no filters displayed so let's start there let's go to our this is our select filters view controller right and uh, we know that there are there's actually three spots in here where the uh, where we may be reloading the data because the number of filters may have changed so the first thing I'd like to do actually is is tidy that up let's call let's create a function called uh, handle filters uh, changed okay so if the filter is ever changed well what do we want to do we want to do we want to post our notification to the main view controller and, and reload the data so I'll just uh, copy that out and paste that in here right okay so now I want to call this from a few places obviously from here um, and we've got that same exact code here and here great we've actually made our code a little more dry you know do not repeat yourself um, okay so that's part of the battle um, handle filters change so handles filters change we'd like to do we'd like to do something different if there are no filters so let's add a little bit of code here if uh, we go to the tables model the filters model to find out if there are any filters. So we'll say count. If the count's equal to zero, what do we want to do differently? Whereas if the count isn't zero, what do we want to do differently? And the answer to that question is we want to go to the table, right, the filters table, and it's actually got something called background view. Okay, and we can add a background view to it, uh, a UI view controller, uh, well, a UI view component. Uh, cool. Uh, and yeah, so we can add a UI view where we could put a label and stuff into it. Uh, or if there actually is data, then we don't want a background view. So in that case, we'll just say this is equal to nil. Cool. Um, okay, at the moment we haven't actually given a, a view that's really useful at all. So let's go back to our storyboard, um, uh, the main storyboard here. And here's our select filters view. And let's look up, let's get a UI view. So here's a view, and we're going to plop that into our select filters. Uh, which one is that? There it is. Right. So we want to take this and we want to actually, yeah, we want to put it there. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of fiddling around. Uh, we've got our view, we've got our table filter. I actually want to put this, uh, let's put it behind the table filter and let's pin it so it's the full size so we'll go zero 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 right uh, we're going to add those constraints and then we're going to actually update the frame so it is where it's supposed to be cool um, finally let's actually add the label so we're going to uh, add a UI label if I could spell there's the label and we're going to plop it in here actually I'll plop it right in our view 
can I, oh yeah if I do it here it actually adds it perfect that's what I want to do once again I want to take this and I want to pin it so let's go and they should have a shortcut for that maybe they do maybe they do and I'll add those four constraints and then I'll update the frame great okay so now I've got a label that kind of occupies the entire area uh, in that label what do I want to put well I want to put a message I want to say well I want it to be two lines long and I want to say uh, no filter is selected yet and on the second line now I'm going to hit control enter to, to add a line break there um, click plus to add a filter okay let's read that message no filter is selected yet click plus to add a filter Eh, that works for me um, let's center that great and we can kind of see it in the background here so uh, I left our table in the foreground and our UI views in the background here uh, this is kind of important uh, where I positioned it I put this view in the background uh, it's behind the filter table so at runtime the filter table you know hides that view uh, we could do a few other things um, but uh, that'll work now let's give our view controller access to this view uh, so the usual thing we want to bring up the assistant within the assistant we want to go to our view controller that would be this guy here and we'll do the usual dragging trick I'll go over to my view and I will hold down control and I will click and drag over to our view controller and here what do we want to call it? we'll call it the uh, no filter view that works for me let's connect that so now I'm just tidying up a little so now if there is no data then there we go in our code here we set the background to this no filter view if there's nothing selected uh, otherwise the background view is nil let's give that a run I think this will work okay so here we are we click here and I don't see it oh yes one more thing um, let's add a filter go back and yeah you know what uh, I think our problem is simply when we come in for the first time we didn't call our new code so I'm gonna add that right there and let's run again. I think that's the problem. Let's find out. So now, yay, no filter selected yet. Please, well, it says click plus to add filter. Hmm, wonder if we should add a please. Uh, let's click plus. Let's do a scale intensity. That looks good. We'll apply that. Nice and dark let's make sure that we're not imagining things let's go in here okay I don't see the message and that's correct now if I delete this guy I see the message again oh that looks pretty good let's make sure if I have two filters everything's working fine that looks right to me let's apply that so this should be all mixed up nice okay I think we have a winner okay thank you very much and I'll join you in the next one